Can you simplify this radical? Sometimes you'll be working with a skill where you have the choice between working with the messy square root of a non-perfect square or the square root as it is. Trust me, you're going to want to know how to work with just the square roots. Let's start with that symbol you've been calling the square root symbol. We're going to start calling it by its formal name, the radicand. When we have a radicand with information under it, be it numbers, variables, exponents, or a combination, we're going to call that a radical. So if I stick a b to the third under the radicand, I call it radical b to the third. You already know that when you see a number under a radicand, you're eventually going to be expected to find that number's square root. But you can take a square root even when it's nothing but a variable with an exponent under the radicand. Use the product of powers in reverse to find all the squares. The square root of a perfect square is the root itself, so pull one variable out for each squared pair and multiply them together. Any variable that didn't have a pair remains under the radicand. Start by breaking the expression apart so each number and variable is its own radical. Simplify each radical. Multiply together all terms left under their radicals and place that new term under the same radical. Multiply together all terms factored out and place that new term in front of the radical. Now, let's look at our first problem. Start by breaking apart the radical into its components. Simplify each one and multiply each part back together. To simplify radicals, break them out into their separate components, simplify each component, and then multiply everything back together again.